Hello, Pirate fans. I'm Haley Zemick, joined by Ronnie Jerez at Historic Walsh Gymnasium after the afternoon matchup between the Seton Hall Pirates and the Providence Friars. The final score was 97 to 55. So, Ronnie, offensively, we had 97 points. What aspect do you think led to the success and the win of this game today? Well, there were many things that went into these 97 great to grand total points that the women's basketball team basketball team put up you know they they passed the ball around very efficiently they made sure that everybody touched the ball before they were taking shots they took shots deep into the shot clock they didn't force anything and they made sure they got the best shot available in that possession there were a lot of threes taken early on and um, there were a lot of three a lot of threes made we shot 61 percent from the three-point line in this game so that definitely took a, a place into this and a lot of fast break points they played aggressively they made sure to push the tempo, make sure that the defense was not comfortable and it was not set. So they, they, they pushed the effort, they pushed the envelope down inside as well. And then they, the Providence Fires looked overmatched on offense. Both offensively and defensively, the game was very fast paced. So defensively, there were nine steals made by the Pirates and 26 defensive rebounds. What components and challenges do you think that uh, they faced the Pirates against the Providence Friars? The, the Pirates really took it after them on defense. They played really aggressively. They made sure to lock them up. There was a point where there were six turnovers in a four-minute span. So the nine steals really uh, played into a part in it. There was a lot of um, fast breaks, a lot of points off turnovers. That's one thing I wanted to mention. There were about 26 points off turnovers, which really was almost half, it was, it was a big part of the score. So making sure that they, they flushed the defense and they got out on the break, they played really good defense. So, and rebounding. The other, uh, the Providence Friars, they took a lot of threes and they missed a lot of threes. And that led to a lot of defensive rebounds. So they made sure to corral the rebound and go on the fast break, even off a miss. So they made sure to push the tempo and it really paid dividends for the Pirates. And so now we're gonna highlight Shadeen Samuels, who is the preseason player of the year for the Big East. In this game, she was the highest scorer with 23 points. She also had six rebounds and two assists. What is one of the main things that you look at when you watch her out on the court? She just plays aggressive. She really wants to get after it. She plays with this mentality that she wants to beat the person in front of her every single possession. She gets the ball and she looks to do something immediately with the ball, either to drive, shoot, or pass, which is something we, you know, you don't want to see the ball stick. And in this team, the ball, the ball does not stick with anybody. But when you see her play, she plays with, a, with, a, with an aggressive mindset and makes sure that she wants to, to really put it in the basket at all times, whenever she has the ball, or pass it, which is, which is what you want to see from your star player. Yeah, one of the main things that I saw when watching her was the team always looked for her down low and dished it with a bounce pass, and she would just go for a strong finish with a layup. Yes. So, you know, with that move, she would always do a lot of up and, number, up and unders to counter that move. She, she played a, an outstanding game. She was 9 for 11, very efficient, only missed two shots uh, the whole day. So, you know, it was her day. So Alexis, offensively, you shot a lot of threes out on the field. What did it feel like going out there and just put him on a... I mean, that's my game. You know, I come here to shoot threes and obviously do a lot of other things, but shooting threes is my number one thing. So I always know every game I come out, that's what I'm going to do. So Alexis, what was the mindset coming into this game? Um, you know, every, every win, every game against a Big East opponent is very big. So what was the mindset coming in? The mindset is always the same, um, just to stay within ourselves and play the way we play. And we know when we do that, no matter what type of adversity you face, that we can be the victor in the end. All right. So your guys' next game is in a week, so you have a week of practice. What is one of the things that you really want to focus on going into the St. John's game next Sunday? I think focusing on building on the things that we did well today and making sure that we also focus on the things that we didn't do well so that we can build on both of them to make sure that we're at our top when we play on Sunday. Now, quickly, before we let you go, I mean, there isn't that many things you guys didn't do well. You guys played in an outstanding game. But how good is it to see the players that don't get as much minutes, you know, get out there and have a, an extended role because of how well you guys played? I mean, it's great. I mean, obviously, everybody only sees the games that we play two times a week. But nobody sees them in practice making the starters better, doing the things that help us come together as a team. So seeing them get in and do the things that we know they can do that we see them do as practice is amazing. Thank you to Alexis for talking with us this afternoon. And now the next game that Seton Hall Pirates will be playing is next Sunday against St. John's. Now, St. John's is 4-3 and three as of right now. What's one of the things that Seton Hall should really focus on during this week in practice? You want to make sure you keep the momentum defensively. Defense 
defense translates throughout games. Um, sometimes your shot may not go down, but the defense is always going to be there if you put the effort in. So you want to make sure you have a good defensive practice throughout the week. Make sure you have the same intensity coming in. Try to get steals. Try to deflect shots. Try to do whatever you can to disrupt the offense. And um, make sure that you come out with the same intensity as you came in this one. You, there was a lot of good ball movement, a lot of good connections. So um, one thing they maybe want to improve on is shooting free throws in practice, but I'm pretty sure they're going to look over and over and they're going to do that anyway. So um, after a win like this, you want to keep the momentum and see how it goes. Well, from Pirate TV, I'm Haley Zemek and Ferrani Jerez. Everybody have a great day.